Hey everyone, welcome back. Wow, you know what this feels like? It feels like it's 2021! Woohoo! Goodbye 2020, you will not be missed. One of my New Year's resolutions is to get in shape. One of the ways that I love getting in shape is by having cute outfits to work out in because when you feel cute and you look cute, you can work out better. Cute, you can work out right? cute. Yeah, you can work out like feeling cute. Yeah, exactly. So anyway, I wanna show you guys some of the cutest Hottest What's up? January collection pieces from Fabletics. Thank you so much to Fabletics for sponsoring this video. I want you guys to comment below which outfit is your favorite. So here's outfit number one. This is what I call the neon dragon slayer. Whoa. Okay. Dragon. Show me the next one. Okay, so this is neon dragon slayer. If you guys like it, comment below. Here comes outfit number two. Okay, I call this the neutral snake. Comment below if this one's your favorite. These pants are the coolest material and they fit so good. One of my favorite things about Fabletics is how good everything fits in the material. So, super soft hoodie. I can wear this with everything and here's a sports bra. Okay, here comes outfit number three. Now this outfit might be my all time favorite. It is so flattering and so cute and I love the color. It's so bright and fun and the fabric is amazing. By the way, you guys, guess what? With Fabletics, when you become VIP, you get any two items for twenty four dollars, fifty percent off the rest of your entire order, and free shipping. Check back every single Thursday for new styles that drop. Also, when you become VIP, you get some other perks like additional ways to save. You get free access to all content on their new fitness app. Fabletics just launched a new fitness app called Fabletics Fit, and they brought in all of the best instructors ever to help you guys get in shape. So you guys should download the app. I'm linking everything in the description below. Go check it out. Also, let me know which outfit is your guys' favorite. So comment below and um, see you guys in a second. I gotta get my workout on. So I feel here, very guys. accomplished today, I'll be honest. I got in a workout and usually I don't. So I accomplished my goal. And when I accomplish my goal, I feel a lot better for the day. Did you guys accomplish any goals today? Um, not really. No? No. <laughs> Not, not any big goals. Kayla and Oakley were practicing their dancing earlier, so they're getting better at dancing. They keep putting on little performances for us all the time, huh? You guys are getting good. So guys, oh. tonight we decided <laughs> that we are going to watch the, the birth. kids' births and react to their all, all three of their births. I wanted life. to compare them all and talk about them all. I got pretty emotional earlier because I was looking at how old these girls and Oliver even are getting and it makes me so sad they were all just like I literally feel like I just gave birth to all of them. So I want to watch, watch the them all. I haven't watched them in a while. The first one I think we should watch is probably just Tatum and Milka, right? Yeah. Tatum and Milka's birth. Oh my gosh, this is like where everything started. Do you guys want to watch when you were born? Yeah. This was think? probably, Tatum and Milka's birth was probably the best day of my entire life. Um, besides obviously getting married, it's just like the, the feeling of that was so surreal. It's like not even having any kids at all going from, uh, you'll just, you'll have to see. And I look so different in this. Like, I don't know why I got, my whole face changed with the twins. Like my nose grew like a couple inches too. It's so weird. I don't even look like myself. <laughs> okay, let's just skip to like the birth part. Okay. Okay, here we go. Ready? Here we go. <laughs> That was like one of the most stressful times of my life. Like there was two to focus on, so it was like it was like really nerve wracking because I couldn't just focus and and make sure that just like one of them was okay. Mm -hmm. I had to make sure both of them were okay. So I would go back and forth between babies. And I was super scared because I obviously was being cut open and I heard that they take all your organs out of you. During, so I was like just thinking about that in my head. And so I was like listening to music to, to try not to think about anything. I was so stressed. Here comes Oakley. Little Oakley. Oh. <laughs> there you are. Do you see, see the blood? There you are. That's what happens. When you come out, you're just a little bit red. 
They, they like when they're like six months old. Okay, we'll watch some of those videos. We're going to watch Halston now first. Yay! So, obviously, that C-sections are a lot harder, I think, than natural birth. Like, you'll see Halston's how much easier it was. Like, I was smiling. I pushed her on two seconds. The recovery was super easy. With the twins, like, I had, it was very sensitive because um, I was cut open. Like, I had, with anyone would touch this area for, like, three months. I was in so much pain. And, yeah, I didn't even really walk. It was completely different. And I had two babies to take care of on the same same and when all the milk came in just everything everything was super stressful because I was learning about it for the first time how to take care of babies yeah so now let's watch how easy we come see how easy Hawson's birth was this happens super fast because we broke this up into two blocks so it literally started right when we started oh yeah but here we go ready it's Hawson Hawson she's here Hawson Hawson there you are she just came out of me. Oh. <laughs> Austin, there's you. There's baby Austin. Yeah, that's baby Austin. That's baby Austin. Austin, that's you. Oh. <laughs> it makes this me cry. Is so cute. I think it's the music on this one. Like the twins didn't have a side of music or something. No, I wasn't very good at music or anything in the YouTube videos. But little Hawson is very special, you know what so. Huh? You're so special, baby? Oh. Do you think she looks like Oliver a little bit? Yeah. Yeah? yeah. I think all of our kids look uh, very similar. What do you think? I could watch these videos every single day. They're so special. So cool that we have all of this on video. Wait, do you guys think we should have another baby? No. Me and Madison talked about it literally, literally just every day. That. When I watched this, I was thinking, and here's the announcement: we're pregnant. No, just no, no, kidding, no. But not. for real, like, no, I, I, I highly doubt we can handle another baby right now. To be honest, it's very difficult. But when I watch those videos, so I get sad. Thinking that I won't be able to do that again. We've just been so blessed to be able to like have kids, you know. I want that. Anyways, we've been just like so blessed to be able to have kids. I just think it's such a special blessing, you know. Do you want to watch Oliver's now? Should we watch Oliver's? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Oliver Burr. Because if you see my tummy cut open, it'd be really gross. So much blood everywhere. Okay, here we go. Got the intro. This is when we started, this is when we started to do intros. Oh, there he is. My buddy. I had a lot of anticipation that day for a lot of reasons. For him, obviously, for the song that I wrote for him, the release that I released on the pretty much the same, right? Released on the same day, yeah? Yeah. Or was it the next day? I can't remember. But it was that day. Just I had a lot of anticipation that day. It was so exciting to have a boy. I, I never I never thought I was gonna have a boy, you know. Um, I was okay either way, but uh, I got I got really blessed. What do you think, girls? Is he so cute? Yeah. You guys love him? Yeah. So sweet, baby. So special. Oh my gosh. Oh, baby boy. Oh, look at his little eye trying to open to see me. That's that's the one thing that I remember about my births. That's the most special moment. When they lay on your chest and they try to open their eye to like look up at you. It's so cute. He tries to see his mommy for the first time. They're just coming into the world. They just, they're so helpless, really. Mm -hmm. you know? He's kind of sad because, like, 
This is the best mommy. moment when you get a hold of the first time with the mommy. twins. Mommy. Hold on. When, mommy. Okay, hold on. So when when the twins were born, because it was a C-section, the closet. Sorry. When the twins were born, because it was a C-section, I actually didn't get to hold them for about five hours after I gave birth. So I got to see Oakley for like one second, and that was it. I never got to see Tatum. And I got to hold them for like five seconds. Or no, wait, I just got to see you for five seconds. And I didn't get to hold them for five hours. I had my whole family was already there saying, oh, we got to hold them. They were so beautiful. Everyone's in a cute. I never even got to see my babies. Daddy, so it was so hard for me. Happy. That's the hard part about having a C-section. Madison. I wanted to see my mommy with Tatum. I don't know if we have a video of that, but... Yeah, I remember going back and forth and like taking milk back and forth mm -hmm. from where, where you were in recovery to the NICU because the yeah. girls had to be in the NICU for five and six days. So mm -hmm. that was baby mommy. Baby mommy is not even. <laughs> I don't thing. have. I wish I had my birth video, but I don't have one of me. Mom, grandma didn't do uh, YouTube. I actually have some home videos my mom has. We should we should go to my mom's house sometime and watch them. Maybe we can play some of my old baby videos and you should play some of yours on a video. <laughs> I'd have to go all the way back to Idaho and dig through boxes, but all you guys were born. How about that? <laughs> you guys are all here now and this is our family. Yep. How fun is that? But like part of me feels like we're complete and then part of me is like, will I never be able to do this again? Yeah, like the whole the pregnancy and the birth, like it's okay. such a magical thing. It just, just, you never want to stop. It's so cool. Should we have another baby guys? No. No? no? The girls are so opposed, but every time we bring it up, they're like, no. They they literally are the dictators, though. Every time we've ever asked them if they want like a new baby sister and a baby like, yes. brother, they would say yes. So maybe we are done. Mm -hmm. You guys really think we're done? No. There's no more boys? No. You don't think mommy's supposed to have another baby boy? No. Okay. Do you think? No. Halston, do you think mommy should have another baby? No. Well, I guess it's decided. <laughs> I don't want that to be the right answer, but it might be. We're, we're gonna we're gonna pray about it. We're gonna think about it. We don't need to decide right now. He's just a little, so we're gonna think about it, pray about it, and fill it out for the next year and a half, and then we'll make our final decision in a year and a half. After a year and a half, I don't want them to be that far apart, so I'll just be done. So we're not sure yet. We'll it's see. hard to know when they're this little. Yeah, maybe you guys will decide later. And it's hard to know when they're four. Like, if they were older to help me, it would be a lot easier. Like, I think about, like, some of my friends have older kids. They have kids that can help watch these little ones. Like, I don't have that at all. So, yeah. we don't have that. It is really hard right now. One-year-old Olympian babies. This is so cute because you guys were so You guys were so funny. little in this one. You guys will like this one. This one's funny. Look at you guys in your little workout outfits. Yo, look at me. I look skinny, bro. Dang. I lost so much weight. I mean, I gained so much weight. Tatum, look at her little tummy hanging out. Okay, let's watch. Let's watch her hang. Let's watch her hang. Whoa! Good job, Tatum. Been saying this for a long time. That's pretty good. Tatum, look at that. Oh my goodness. So strong. Look how strong you are. Holy moly, you guys are funny. Some Olympian babies. Yo, that video got 13 million views. What happened to those days? What happened to those days? YouTube's changed. It's really cute to watch old videos, man. Ah, oh, I can't believe it's only been it's it's like been what three years? Three years it's been of four years. Four since years. We started videos. our YouTube channel. I actually want to shout out some of the people who've been here since day one. So comment when you started watching us, and we're gonna shout you guys out. 
Absolutely. Big shout outs on the next video to those who have been with us since the beginning. And we want to start doing our little gameplay thing that we do. What's it called? The game the board. It's like a Blinko chip game board, something or whatever. We're going to do lots of giveaways. Lots of yes. giveaways. So we're going to start doing giveaways every single week. I actually think we should, it would be fun to go ah. live. We want to start going live and doing um, giveaways on live. Sure. Yeah, that's a good Wouldn't idea. That'd be fun. Make sure you guys follow us on all of our social medias. Instagram, TikTok, stuff like that. Look for us online, on the line, live, um, so we can do those giveaways. Sorry, I can't really focus because I got kids on my back. That's how it goes over here. He's Anyways, not goofy, so that's good. We love you guys. We appreciate you hanging out with us tonight, and we'll see you guys later. On another video.